Morning guys, what's going on? It's me, Online Brother Jess Vizek, and welcome back to the vlog. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a deck review based on a deck sent over from our brothers over at Penguin Magic. But before we get into it, check out this absolutely awesome deck of playing cards. The Jasper's deck, Neon Knights Edition playing cards. This absolutely beautiful deck of playing cards will be made available to all of you guys sometime in September but for the patrons who have early access to our playing cards they should be available right now I'm absolutely excited for you guys to be able to get this deck of playing cards into your hands and into your collections. In fact, so excited about it that I've even planned an entire promotion cycle so that you guys can get more bang for your buck if you buy it within the first 48 hours of the deck being launched. So if you want to be up to date with the latest news with regards to the Jasper's deck Neon Knight Edition playing cards, follow us on School of Cardistry. All right, back to the video. All right, here we go. All right, so what I've heard about this deck of playing cards is that it has been designed to look like an old school style deck of playing cards. I'm actually really excited about that because I haven't seen an old school style of cards in a long, long time. Let's check it out. Deck number one. Ooh, the corners of this box feel sharp. Oh wow! Alright, so here we have it. This deck of playing cards is called the Bicycles Wranglers Playing Cards by Penguin Magic. The box as you can see is an off-white, almost as if it's paper that has faded over time. In fact, if you pay attention and look really closely at the cards, the black ink that is featured on the cards is also not exactly black. It, it looks like black ink that has faded over time. The front of the box looks like this. Bicycle off the top, the logo over here, Wrangler's playing cards in some kind of like old timey font. <laughs> On the back of the box, we see a man riding a horse up here, some bull like horns kind of design, a wheel over here, and some flourishes going around. Over here, it says air cushion finish, the US PCC. The thumb slices through the sticker pretty easily, and we can open it up just like this. Now, with the usual expectations of Penguin Magic playing cards, we have two jokers, one over here and one over here. Um, I don't see any magic kind of reveals that appear on the jokers. I don't think there are. On the back, we would expect to see one double backer and one blank card. Now, looking at the backs of the cards right here, you can tell that the base of the cards is actually off-white. This is more yellow and this is more white. And what's even more interesting is that if you compare the base color of these cards, this yellow here, against the faces of the cards, which is also off-white, this one's actually much more white than this one. No idea why they did it. And if you compare this against the normal white, you can see the difference once again. Now let's take a look at the faces of the cards. This is what the Ace of Spades looks like. If you look at the indices here and here, it's much more bold than the usual USPCC card design. Very old timely looking two of spades. Oh, there's a rope going around one of the spades and the other spade looks like this. Three of spades, four, five, ten, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if it's a custom jack. Ooh, 100% customized, very nice. Queen of spades, king of spades. Looking at the card cards, you can see the color palette that was chosen to be used for this deck of playing cards. Ace of Diamonds, it looks like a normal red, but because of the slightly yellowish background, it actually appears to look a little bit brighter and a little bit more like orange. Jack of Diamonds, Queen, King, King, Queen, Jack of Clubs, Ace. I don't know why it is, but I actually kind of feel the clubs look really, really nice. Looking at the Ace of Spades, it actually looks a lot rounder than the normal Ace of Spades, which in my opinion doesn't make it look as sharp and as clean as it could be. But looking at the Ace of Clubs, damn, 
that's a nice club nice bubbly sexy ace of clubs 10 of hearts 9 of hearts 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 ace of hearts finally let's take a look at the backs of the cards if you look over here you can see that this rope pattern that goes from the top right hand corner top left hand corner all the way down to here and across the middle is a recurring motif and consistently appears on the backs of the cards at the top and at the bottom of the cards you can see this star design which is six pointed and it looks like one of those like cartoon sheriff stars if you look very closely on the sides right here you actually see this like um, eight digit led kind of design hidden in the borders of the cards and i am pretty sure that looks like it's designed to be marked hmm let's shuffle up the deck maybe maybe my intuition would be right let's give it a try oh yeah 100 percent. it's 100 percent a marked deck of playing cards like if you concentrate on the pattern right here you can see this letter x standing out to you as well as this letter d representing that this is the 10 of diamonds this one right here i think should be can you tell it it looks like a number two followed by the letter d two of diamonds and i am right nine c nine of clubs damn what that's so cool like if i spread the cards right here in front of your face can you tell what these cards are just looking at the top left hand corner of the cards man and the thing that's awesome about this deck of playing cards is that because the cards are marked in a way that is very legible it's very easy to do it's very easy to read you don't have to go through the clock system and look like uh one two three o'clock four five six seven eight eight of diamonds so if i riffle through the deck of playing cards you can see what every single value of each card is but not only that if you focus on this white dot here you see there's this like imperfection here that's actually an imperfection that seems to be intentionally placed onto the cards allowing this deck of playing cards to also be a one-way back design super cool all right now before we continue this deck review let's get down to the mathematics the weight of the deck of playing cards is 85.89 grams and the thickness of 52 cards in the deck is 1.470 cm these measurements mean that this deck of playing cards the wranglers playing cards is actually quite a bit heavier than the previous deck of playing cards that we we took readings for the jellyfish playing cards while being similar in thickness to those cards the cards are sturdy and feel good in springs they're probably quite snappy i'm assuming hmm. actually not that snappy i'm still very confused why they decided to make the faces of the cards and the backs of the cards a different off-white color however when it comes to cardistry i find that these cards seem to be a little bit dull for my taste in terms of colors in terms of how the design helps emphasize your cardistry these cards don't really do that you can also say that this deck of playing cards is designed for a type of magician that wants to go for a little bit more of a old western look or even card collectors that enjoy this kind of aesthetic in the cards that they collect all right guys so there you have it that was our quick look at wranglers playing cards by penguin magic if you guys are interested in picking up a deck of these cards for yourself i'll put an amazon link in the description box below if you use that link to pick up a deck of playing cards for yourself um, i do get a little bit of a kickback so that's a way you can support the channel if you want to now with this wranglers playing cards added to the random brick giveaway the random brick giveaway has finally been completed all 12 decks have been added to the random break giveaway so leave a comment in the comment section below i'll be choosing a random winner among all the videos that i have done that reviews in as well as the videos in between of that and choosing one random comment to get all 12 decks of playing cards shipped on the house to you until next time guys i'm online brother jasper's deck check out our awesome patrons and i'll talk to you guys in the next one
拜。